Hi Aries, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Amira. This is Monocope's Soul Healing. This is going to be a reading for you, my dear. We're going to do the courage spread if you're familiar and if you're family. If you're not family quite yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? The courage spread is Aries, where we take a look at where you've been, where you want to be, and then what you need to do to get there. Okay. Um, and we're going to check in on your recent manifestations as well. Okay. You have full moon in Taurus coming out. It says detoxify. Now, this could mean many things. Okay. This could be an emotional um, detoxification that needs to take place. It could be physical. Okay, I feel like there's just, um, I'm seeing a lot of clutter, okay? I, I, I am seeing it in, like, your home space or even a vehicle, but again, it can mean many things or represent different things to you. There's just a need, there's some kind of clutter here, Aries, okay, that needs your attention. Yeah, you have the number four coming out here as well, so... The fours are about foundations, your stability, security. So again, this could be speaking to your home, your vehicle. Um, but as we know with the tarot, we have the four of pentacles, four of wands, four of swords, and the four of, um, what am I missing? Cups. <laughs> Thank you. And so that means stability in all areas. Okay, let's see what we get here. Because one of those areas needs some clearing out, some cleansing, some stabilizing energy. Okay. All right. Courage spread for my Aries, folks. General reading, guys. Okay. So, of course, everything's not going to be for everybody. It may not be your reading even at all. But let's see if something pulls at your heartstrings. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, you can book with me on my website okay that's down in the description box all right show me aries please gracias where you've been three of wands yeah trying to get to the four of wands there we go so the wand energy is about um vibrancy that is your energy sitting there what are you waiting for you're waiting for something Waiting for the right time, the right moment, okay? A lot of you are getting impatient. We're going to clarify these energies that come out, but the Three of Wands is someone who is waiting to get to a place that they feel stable, okay? Um, the Wand energy is our spirituality. It's literally our energy, all right, this could be a move as well. Some of you could be in the midst of moving and maybe that's why the house is cluttered that I'm seeing. I don't know. Or the car. Okay. I just heard homelessness. All right. So this could have to do with someone who is, you know, in between homes right now or not having somewhere to stay. Um, all right. Where you want to be. Four of Cups. Yeah, we have uh, your four here. So, and this is why I went through the different suits of the tarot, because it's not just about physical, de physically detoxifying. It's all of, you know, our being. All right. So trying to get to a stable place spiritually, which your emotions are also involved in that as well. Trying to get to a, um, a balanced and stable place emotionally. Okay. Um, Four of Cups is someone who is bored, okay? Dissatisfied with their current circumstances, feeling as though they missed an opportunity, perhaps. But also focused on themselves. This is about internal. Hmm. All right, what you need to do to get there. King of Wands, being your bold, fearless, masculine energy which is the three of wands, but the king of wands holds that fourth wand. So whatever needs to happen here, Aries, it's up to you, okay? It's up to you to make the decision. It's up to you to take action, but maybe there's um, these three cups 
if you will, that are still on your mind. Okay, maybe there's um, some expectations that were not met in a certain situation that are still heavily weighing on you. Okay, perhaps there's still some apprehension or feelings of did I make the right choice in the first place? Let's see. The King of Wands is someone who's bold, though, courageous fearless leader is somebody who says um this is what i want and goes after it and, and and gets that thing so that's the energy that you're needing to be and let's see what's this three of wands for where aries has been what are you waiting for i'm hearing sloppy seconds okay so somebody feels like they are sloppy seconds or not wanting sloppy seconds what does that mean Okay, what's this three of wands, please? Wow. Well. Oh, well, we've got a jumper. Okay. What is this? Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. The Chariot and the Two of Wands is still sitting here. Okay, come on, Aries. Come on, Aries. You were almost there. A lot of you wanting to be successful, wanting to have some kind of end all, be all, right? If this is a relationship we're talking about, it's marriage. If it's um, a business that we're talking about, it's long-term stability, security, achieving um, what you set out to do. But there's a lot of apprehension that's showing up here. You're telling me that you've been in the Three of Wands, but it's clarified by the Two of Wands. Okay? It's like the decision has already been made, but there's some lack of faith. There's, there's some um, effort. You know, it could be a financial thing. Okay, for some of you feeling as though you don't have the finances or are things going to work out? Okay, that kind of thing. What else is here? The star, the queen of cups, and the hanged man. So you have Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer showing up here. Could be dealing with one of those signs. But um, I feel as though you guys have stopped yourself. Okay? I feel like you've stopped yourself. Why? Ooh. King of Swords wanting to come out. All right. What else is here? Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you've stopped yourself. Okay, may feel like something is moving too um, too slow as well. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, but you guys may feel like something is taking too long, um, but something is taking too long because you have stopped yourself, and a lot of you may be saying, "No, I haven't stopped myself. I'm still waiting for this thing. I'm still being patient." But energetically, your willpower, your faith. Okay, which drives this chariot um, is down. Okay, it's low. I'm hearing somber. All right, so there's some sadness surrounding perhaps what you're leaving behind for a lot of you. Let's see what this Four of Cups is for where you want to be. Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords. Like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like you're trying to avoid something. Did I say that out loud? I don't know if I did. 
I feel like you're trying to avoid something, maybe trying to avoid um, the past coming back up or trying to avoid how you feel. There's definitely expectations here that were not met, okay? There may be difficulties with trusting yourself and making a decision here. All right, the Seven of Cups um, is somebody who has options, okay? So you definitely have options here that are being presented to you. Maybe you're wanting more because what you're being presented is not enough. There's something about that um, in regards to where you want to be, okay? Nearing, needing to clear out the clutter with this detoxify energy, feeling as though what you're being presented with is not enough, not good enough, or something to that effect. Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, yeah, and the Death card. So you definitely have options here or wanting to have more options because what you're, what you're being presented with is not going where you want it to go, all right? Yeah, a lot of you may feel as though the current path that you're on, um, again, that you made the wrong choice in the past um, to attach yourself to something. I just feel as though your willpower has run out or your desire has run out. It, the spark has run out. Maybe there's no attraction in a situation. I don't know. Whatever it is, you have slowed yourself down. Okay. It's not as though you're necessarily waiting for something unless that something is you. Uh, okay. Cause there's, cause there's not another person here who really is affecting that. And again, I know a lot of you are going to say, I am just waiting, but you are holding yourself back, okay? Show me this King of Wands for what Aries needs to do to feel um, stable emotionally. This has a lot to do with making the right choice. All right. Again, like I said, maybe not trusting that you can make the right choice or that you did make the right choice. It has a lot to do with that here as far as where it is that you want to be. All right. The Fool. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Jupiter in Pisces. Knight of Swords. Action. Speaking up speaking your truth queen of swords here as well so what you need to do to get there Aries is take some kind of action this is what I'm saying the knight of swords is someone who has gained clarity this is your internal truth that's coming out here okay clarity on what it is that I want right and speaking up about it or um, making some kind of life-changing decision because that's what the Knight of Swords comes along with. It's this epiphany or this clarity, this news, if you will, that creates a life change, okay? Um, what else is here? Yeah, with this full card, taking a leap of faith, taking some kind of risk. There's a need to take some kind of risk here. What is it? The Devil and the Queen of Cups. I'm hearing the weekend. Call out my name. All right, what else? King of Swords. Hmm. Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, we're getting to the nitty gritty here. Because while someone else kind of sort of showed up in your energy, they're totally showing up here. You guys are needing to have a significant conversation with someone. Okay, to move things forward, to get on the same page, to have closure. Okay, um, this is someone who you're not talking to, it looks like. Or the conversations don't, aren't productive. You need to talk about what it is that you want in particular. Interesting. All, my name. All right, let's 
for some final messages for Aries. The Empress. Okay, get back in there, girl. Um, Aries, if you're still here with me, hit that thumbs up. Okay. All right, let's get some final messages for you. Wow. All right. My fearless leader, the High Priestess. Eight of Cups, Four of Wands. There it is. But look, look at look at the succession here. Following your intuition, going where you're guiding, lead, guided, making a choice here. Okay, not really focused on the consequences, but focused on you know based on my experiences, based on what it is that I really want, based on um, what aligns with um, what's going to make me feel content, happy, secure, all those basic needs, and not just based on attraction or what feels good in the moment, but based on those things moving toward it. And that's how you get to this four of wands. Okay. This place of feeling stable of feeling like you achieved something, feeling as though you have graduated, you have something to celebrate. 10 of cups, happy family, happy home. And the eight of pentacles, putting in work, energy, effort, and mastery of self. Okay. This is what's going on for you, Aries. Um, your first order of business is to detoxify. Okay, clear out the clutter. Because, and it, and it could be that you have so many distractions around you, um, whether that be options, people, thoughts. Okay, there's a need to detoxify here and move toward what it is that you feel is necessary in your life, okay? Um, I love you guys. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye.